Hi, I'm Kenny Peoples, the JBoss Technology Evangelist for Data Virtualization. Today we're going to show you a big data integration using JBoss Data Virtualization demo. In our diagram here, we want to show that we turn fragmented data into actionable information. If you look on the bottom, we have our data sources, which are siloed and complex, uh, such as Hadoop, uh, MySQL, uh, the uh, flat file, so forth. We want to connect to those through data connectivity, native data connectivity. We want to be able to compose those into a common data model and have a unified view uh, and a unified virtual database so that we can virtualize, abstract, and federate. Then we want to consume those with our BI tools, uh, SOA applications, so forth for easy real-time information access and we can use any of those standard base data provisioning uh, that you see there. So this demo, our objective is to determine if sentiment data from the first week of the Iron Man 3 movie is a predictor of sales. The problem is we have the social data and we have our sales data and uh, multiple systems but we need to analyze that data in a single view. So the solution is we use our JBoss data virtualization to mash up or aggregate uh, that uh, sentiment data, which is in Hadoop, and the sales data, which is in MySQL. So if you look on the right-hand side, we have the diagram for that. At the bottom are two sources. In the middle, we're going to compose that into a virtual database in a single view. And then we're going to um, show you how you can analyze that through multiple tools, Excel, PowerView, and Data Virtualization Dashboard. Here's our system requirements. We have our JDK, our JBoss Data Virtualization, JBoss Developer Studio with our integration stack, and of course we have the source code out on GitHub that you can download and use. And then we use the Hortonworks data platform, which contains the Hadoop and Hive connector, and you can uh, install the sentiment data in there, uh, which is what we did. Then we have our Red Hat storage, which I'm not going to uh, highlight in this video, but we are using Red Hat storage. So let's get out of here, uh, the presentation, and we're going to go right into the demo. So what I want to show you, the first thing I want to show you, we're looking at our uh, Squirrel client, our Squirrel SQL client. And really nice tool. I'm able to look at first our high view here, and look at our tweets BI table, and look at our uh, content there. And this is showing our uh, data from within Hadoop through Hive. Then down below that, we have our uh, sales data out in MySQL. And then down below that, this is actually our virtual database we created and our union view. And this is our table, which is showing uh, our sentiment data and our sales data through one view. So let's skip over here. And just to show you real quick, this is our uh, um, tweets. And we're pulling an average of those by country because there's a, a whole bunch in there, but we want to find the average sentiment by country and then aggregate that with the sales data. So then let's uh, scoot over whoop, scoot over here real quick. So then I want to uh, show you through our virtual box here, we're running Hortonworks data platform, a sandbox that has the uh, sentiment data, those tweets that I just showed you. So let's jump over to our JBoss Developer Studio real quick. And just to show you a, qu a, a couple of quick things here, we have our Hive model, which is going to be our tweets BI. We have our uh, sales model right here. So this is showing our sales model and then we have our union view and what we're going to show here is we're taking the two physical sources and we're putting them into a aggregated or union view through this transformer and let's click here 
And just to show you real quick the uh, SQL that we're using here. Uh, let me pull it down. There it goes. So we have our select, update, insert, delete that we can modify in our transformation. But what we're concerned with in this demo is just doing the select. And you'll see how we're doing the um, join and getting our uh, single view, our cell sentiment country. So then if we come over here, we see our cell sentiment uh, country here with our table uh, and we're just looking at our transformation diagram. And if we go to our server, double click here, we'll see our uh, TID instance here. So we have our data virtualization server running, our Hortonworks data platform running, and we have this virtual database that's hitting uh, the MySQL server that we have running and we're ag aggregating that data into uh, this Hive test virtual database. If I look at the SQL results here, this is where we're in a select statement on that union view and you'll notice I'm getting all the sales data. Uh, I'm just previewing the data, getting all the sales data and the sentiment data. So uh, let's switch over here and um, what I want to show you real quick is this is our virtual database that's deployed to the uh, JBall server and you'll notice we have our uh, union view and our two uh, physical sources there and then if we look at our DDL we can of course see um, that SQL statement that we just I just showed you in the JBoss developer studio so then uh, one of the nice things with data virtualization now is we have this nice dashboard and what I've done within this dashboard I'll go up here to go over to our page uh, what I've done here within oops let's sign back on real quick So what I've done over here, and it's giving me trouble here. So let me move this real quick. So in our dashboard, I've created an external connection here. Um, and you'll see uh, to our virtual database, and you'll see our little green light there, and added the data provider to grab all those fields. So then when I'm working in, uh, I just added this page real quick, the sales sentiment. So then when I'm working with that data provider, I can build this panel, and I just over here on the edit, that I can select different uh, types of key performance indicators. And thus I'm just doing the spreadsheet. So uh, here we have uh, a view of the data, and we can manipulate that um, some of these other sample dashboards that we have here like sales these come standard with the dashboard and data virtualization well we can modify the way that we view that data through that union view here so let's jump over real quick to um, our Microsoft Excel Power View so what I want to show here real quick is we set up the ODBC uh, information for the ODBC driver for our data virtualization. It is using a Postgres type driver, um, but it's an ODBC driver to get to the virtual database. So um, here we have our data and we added sales goals here. What I want to show here real quick is that um, when we use the ODBC driver, we pull that data in, we added our sales goal. So here we show by uh, size uh, within the countries is the number of tickets sold. And then here you can see with our sales goal, we have by color whether uh, we didn't meet the sales goal, whether we met the sales goal, whether we exceeded the sales goal. So now you can see uh, the inner workings of, of the demo and you can go back and look at the requirements and try and build that yourself. So uh, thank you for your time.